Election Day 2012. I'm out here by a by a pond catching some rays. Yeah. Another beautiful day in Utah. Got a couple more than winter hits. Makes me want to go back to California for a little bit. Or uh or Arizona. For right now anyway. Um beautiful in Utah today and tomorrow. Yep, I got shut out fishing that day, but uh, I'm gonna probably try it again. Um, so if Romney wins, a lot of people, especially here in Utah, they'll think that it's uh, gonna save the Constitution and fix things. Uh, there's no question that Romney understands the fiscal situation. Well, a fish jumped, nice. Or a duck went under. A um, hundred times more than Obama. The thing is, is that you can't fix $160 trillion in debt. Um, it's just over. You know, that we've been milked to death with interest rates by going down, like mortgages from 14 down to 3%. It's just um, the Fed has strategically lowered rates and the lifeblood has been sucked out of the American system. So that's why it's good you get back to nature, learn how to fish. Um, just, it's, you know, it's pretty impossible, very difficult to live completely off the land right now, especially when you get busted for growing tomatoes in your front yard or whatever. But the more you can learn, the better it will be because, uh, the famine's coming up no matter who gets in. So if Mick gets in, you know, people get excited. They'll think it's kind of like a Reagan era, but, uh, Reagan, uh, his predecessor didn't run up $1.5 trillion a year in deficits. And then Reagan did. The supply-side economics thing did work. If you allow people freedom, they'll do it. But redistribution of wealth is what Obama's about, and pretty much the United States has been about for a while. When you take from the producers and give them to the non-producers, you have 47 million people on food stamps and growing. It doesn't work. Because then pretty soon, um, the people will stop working. And it's logical. And the, So, yeah, maybe you'll have Warren Buffett working. But... Uh, People won't be able to go to, to his businesses, and so he'll go under, too. Um, mark my words on that one. So, if Obama gets in, of course, we'll just... The Communist Manifesto has already been fully implemented here in the United States. It's just people don't get it. They don't understand it because it's been gradual, like the whole boiling frog thing. But uh, if Obama gets in, who knows? Maybe we'll see $2 trillion deficits. Whoever gets in, we're going to have the fiscal cliff. Uh, if Romney gets in, to me it'll be interesting because a lot of people will think we're going to come out of it when we're not. If Obama's in, a lot of people will think, I mean the people that are you know, really dumb, which is a lot of Americans, will think that, oh man, he can save us, but you can't save by stealing from somebody and giving to somebody else. The Robin Hood thing, um, and it's not even altruistic like Robin Hood, it's legalized theft. It doesn't work. So if Obama gets in, there might be some excitement for for a little while, but then we'll go into we're going into depression either way in 2013. But Obama will just be more draconian. The health care thing is just unmitigated, 100 percent disaster. With Mitt, there'll be some hope. Things will look good for a few months, and then this fiscal cliff thing, changes in tax laws. It's just this whole debt thing has been postponed. So when it crashes, it's going to crash super ultra hard, and then the system will break down. It'll be like Hurricane Sandy stepped all across the United States and it'll be economic. So the judgments are coming to this country for sure. Um, I'm glad the sun... Oh, my, it's so beautiful here. Not too many chemtrails today. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Enjoy nature. Get close to it because uh, nature will do a lot of cleansing. But uh, nature can also be your friend. Man is really puny, and he's going to be wiped out largely. Of course, there's going to be few people left. Some people don't want to, don't want to live through the tough times that are coming. I want to attempt to, and if I get taken out, then uh, hopefully I've tried to live a good life between now and then, through trying to live a better life with what I have in front of me. I'm feeling healthier, and I, I everybody, all you people out there that watch my videos, which you know, it's it actually my my. Uh, subscribers go down but it's not about subscribers it's about connecting and delivering the message to those people that man of truth is supposed to deliver the message to and so if i go down to 50 subscribers whatever i'm gonna tell the truth in fact i'm gonna get more and more intense and probably more and more persecuted and probably probably even more if mick gets in um 
He's not Ron Paul. And uh, only the Constitution and adherence to those principles could do it. We have a republic if we could keep it. We didn't keep it, and it's over. So prepare accordingly. Be intelligent. Prepare accordingly. Enjoy the sun. Love life. I'm loving life today. Rock on, everybody. Hey, shout out to my friends in Boston and my friend in Boston. Ciao.